Hey y'all, welcome back to Yacht Shop Creations. This is Jim, your humble host, and today I'm even more humble because I screwed up. We're gonna make a uh, relatively quick video today. I have to do a uh, carbon fiber top here, which is 12 foot, four inches long. I was on YouTube. Yes, I go to YouTube too, sometimes too. And nobody that I could find shows hand laid up carbon fiber with this length. Anyway, I did find a couple of technical tricks and things of that nature. I have laid up carbon fiber before for uh, Jimmy Buffett's fishing boxes and different things of that nature. But this is a big panel and I wanted to get it right the first time. That did not happen. And I'm humble enough to tell you that I screwed up and I'm not gonna try to pretend that I didn't because the evidence is underneath my hands. We are going to be relaying this carbon fiber up. Now, this is not a structural carbon fiber. This is for aesthetics and look. So it has to be perfect. I probably could have pulled this off at about 95% perfect, but I kind of gave up and decided that we should just redo it. So we went and picked up some more carbon fiber, um, another six yards. And at that point, we are now going to lay it up. But the problem I had was I thought perhaps the layout came out relatively well. But with carbon fiber, you want to lay it up really dry for your first layout. And that's what we're gonna to do today. Aesthetically, we want all of our lines to go straight. Extra attention on that today and we're going to be using spring clamps to hold the excess down over the side so it won't move while we're laying it up. Now if you'll notice I painted all the edges black. Before we put the first layer of carbon fiber on, we painted it with black flat all grip. What that does, you have to do that no matter what with any carbon fiber you're doing, is have a black background. If you get just a little tiny separation, you have a different color underneath there, it will show through and then you'll have like a white silver streak, whatever the color underneath would be. Well, black hides that for you. And those little tiny imperfections is what kills you on a project like this. It has to be 100% perfect. So we're gonna shoot for 120. I just kind of overdid the black on the edges over the carbon fiber. It wasn't completely necessary, but make sure everything's black and it will be much better off. So first coat's dry and let it sit overnight. Second coat is going to go on a little heavier without sanding of the resin. In between the second and the third, sand it lightly with 320 and then put your final coat of resin on. Having used epoxy all my life, I was a little hesitant to use that technique. So I did up a sample piece and I did it that way. And it was on a piece of scrap melanine. And as you can see, the epoxy is not separating even though it wasn't sanded between coat number one and two. It's holding really well. Now our piece is never gonna get this kind of flexibility, so we really don't have anything to worry about. So without further ado, let's lay up our carbon fiber. Let's make sure all the lines are going straight. We'll put our spring clamps on, and then we'll start wetting it out. We're using a three to one epoxy. Works out really well. Gives me a pretty good sheen, good transparency with it. And let's try number two, see if we can get it right. Let's take number two, not the other number two.
All right, so this was a lot of off-camera work to try to get this as level as we could. And now we're gonna follow our grain pattern and we're going to coat this along with the form. And like I said, we're gonna put a really light coat on there and it will soak through. And we're gonna follow our pattern. And we'll pull everything back in. And as soon as I get this first little section done, Alec and Patrick are gonna start helping me. And they're going to continue to work on each side of this line. And we're all going to work on it in the same direction. So we got the layup done. It's still drying. But what I find is easiest to do is cut the excess off while it's still semi-wet because it's a lot less grinding later on. So we're just gonna go along and trim the edge. Okay, so as we cut this off, we're trying not to make it 100% up to the edge because we can cut that off with a block, the excess, but at least we're not trying to get the majority of it off with a grinder. Okay, well, we hope this video was helpful to you. This layup came out pretty good. Um, it is a hand layup. Carbon fiber is really easy to twist, get it out of the line. Uh, when done the factory, it's done with a press, you usually get four by eight sheets and much easier to do. But take your time. Don't expect it to come out right the first time, unless you're really good at it or you get super lucky. I prefer to be both, but the second time's a charm. We can make this work and stay tuned and we'll have the entire video out of where this panel goes in the yacht. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you all soon. <laughs>